The Sikh religion was founded by Guru Nanak, born in 1469 in the village Delwandi known today by the name of Nankana Sahib, in the province of Lahore, now in Pakistan. From childhood his keen mind has always refused to accept all the groundless rituals, superstitions and dogmas which at that time were being passed off as religion. Guru Nanak and the nine gurus who succeeded him, gave a magnificent example of living spirituality, however whilst engaging in the activities of the secular world. The tenth and last guru, Guru Gobind Singh initialized the Sikh baptism ceremony in 1699 thus giving them a distinct identity. The first five baptized Sikhs, the five heroes. They, in turn baptized the Guru himself at his request, an event hitherto unprecedented in history. Shortly before leaving the earthly life, the Guru ordered his disciples to consider the Guru Granth Sahib, the Holy Scripture as the supreme spiritual authority and invested the Panth Khalsa, the Sikh community, of the temporal authority. The Guru Granth Sahib was written and edited by the fifth Guru, Guru Arjun, in 1604. This is the only scripture in the world that has been compiled by the founders of a faith during their lives. Guru Arjun has also built the Harminder Sahib Gurdwara, very famous in the world, known as the Golden Temple in the district of Punjab, India, which is the center of Sikhism. During the 17th century, the Sikhs were subjected to various suppressions and persecutions by the authorities of the time, which were motivated in response to fanaticism of this religion. The Sikhs had to make huge, supreme, sacrifices to protect and preserve their faith and even their own separate identity. The Mughal Empire was on the verge of disintegration, Afghans had started invading the country under Ahmad Shabdli. The Sikhs surveilled of this opportunity to establish their kingdom which was finally achieved under the Maharaja Ranjit Singh. The Sikh Empire lasted for half a century and was conquered by the British in 1849. During the struggle for the liberation of India, a large number of Sikhs kissed the news of the gallows, he has confronted all sorts of brutality and even the bullets and suffered long periods of imprisonment to rid the country. Although the Sikhs constitute just 1.8% of India's population accounted for 93% of sacrifices for the liberation of India.